Knights of the Royal Axe or Ash, Hatchet. Sometimes called Grand Patriarch, by the name of Prince of Labanus. This meeting is called a college. To open. The Chief Prince says, to order, brethren, which is answered by the senior and junior Grand Wardens in the same words. After some silence is observed, the Chief Prince holds up both his hands, the fingers and thumbs extended as wide as possible, and says, the trees of Lebanus are grown up and fit to cut, on which all the brethren hold up both their hands in the same manner, then let them fall on their thighs, in illusion that they are cut down, in order to be used for holy purposes, viz., first. They were used for the building of Noah's Ark, second. They were used for the construction of the Ark of Alliance, third. For the use of Solomon's temple. The chief prince then says, Noah, Bezulile, Sidonians, the answer to these words are made by the senior warden. Japheth, Eliab, Lebanus. Origin. This degree was established on the three above-mentioned occasions, the cutting of cedar for holy purposes. The explanation of the letters on the axe, or jewel, will teach you. L, on one side of the handle, is Lebanon, S, on the top, Solomon, A, B, on the same side, Abda, A, on the same side, Adoniram, C, on the same side, Cyrus, D, on the same side, Darius, X, on the same side, Xerxes, Z, on the same side, Zerubbabel, A, on the same side, Ananias. On the other side of the axe are the following initials, S on the blade, Sidonians, N, on the top of the handle, Noah, S, on do. Shem, C, on do. Chum, I, on do. Japheth, M, on do. Moses, B, on do. Bezilil, E, on do. Eliab. The said axe, or jewel, must be crowned, and should be of gold, and must hang on the breast to a ribbon of the colors of the rainbow. It may also be worn from the right shoulder to the left hip. The Sidonians were always very zealous for the holy enterprises, before the deluge, they employed themselves in cutting cedars from Mount Lebanon for the construction of Noah's Ark, under the conduct of Japheth. The descendants of them, likewise, cut cedars from Mount Lebanon, that were grown up again, for the construction of the Ark of the Covenant, and their posterity also cut in the same forest, under the conduct of Prince de Herodon, for the construction of the first temple of God by the orders of Solomon. The Samaritans assisted in bringing the timbers down from the mount to the seaside, to be transported from thence to Joppa. Those zealous descendants have since been employed to fell the timbers of the mountain, for the construction of the second temple, by the orders of Cyrus, Darius, and Xerxes under the direction of Zerubbabel. This celebrated nation formed on the said mountain colleges, or meetings, and always in their works adored the great architect of the universe. They had the same signs, and their different words were taken from the different inspectors and conductors, as Noah, and his three sons. Noah being the chief, and his sons the conductors and ancient patriarchs, we owe the knowledge of these events in succession of time since the deluge. In the earliest ages of time, colleges were established on the mountain, for the construction of the Ark of the Covenant, and in some ages after, the same colleges were held for the construction of Solomon's temple. That wise king ordered a small palace to be built on Mount Lebanon, which, when finished, he used to go to see what progress the workmen, had made in hewing and squaring the cedars. Thus by their example, we preserve, with the greatest respect, the names of those venerable patriarchs, and also the memory of the Sidonians. The initials of the jewel form an abridgment of this interesting history, as well as the figure of the draft. The college is closed in the same manner as it was opened.